Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is the top QA certifications. One of the most common questions that I get asked all the time is, are QA certifications needed to get a job? This video will cover what the top QA certifications, are QA certifications even needed, and then what are the benefits of having a QA certification. First off, are certifications even needed to get a QA job? Here in the US, most jobs do not require certifications. If you're overseas, it might be slightly different, but here, since most of my audience is based in the US, you don't need a certification. And now you may be thinking, well then why do people get certifications? We'll answer that in the next section. Next, if QA certifications aren't required by jobs, why do people get them? There are many benefits. No matter if you're new to the QA world, or you're a veteran with five, 10 years experience, you can benefit from a certification. The main benefit, certifications help you stand out from the crowd. Let's say you're applying to a job that's 50 other applicants applying also, and all of you have similar experience. A certification might be the extra push you need to stand out against them. The employer might look through the line of, oh, all these people are very similar, but this person took the time and effort and dedication to get a certification Let's give him a shot first or her a shot first. Another benefit is if you have no actual real world experience in a QA field, getting a certification at least tells employers you have the basic knowledge of QA fundamentals. Certifications can also be beneficial to people who are already in the field. First off, it can help you negotiate a salary raise. The more you know, the more valuable you'll become to a company. Certifications can also help keep you up to date with the latest practices in the field. And finally, certifications can help you transition into a new role. Let's say your whole life you've been a manual QA tester, but you wanna get into automation. Your current job isn't providing you any opportunities to get experience with automation, so you study up and take an automation exam to get certified for that, then transition into a new job may be a lot easier. Now, what you've been waiting for the top three certifications, in my opinion. I have no affiliation with any of them. These are not referral links. I get no kickbacks or anything like that. This is just from my research, from the reviews, from what's most popular. This is my list. These certifications range in prices and also some you take once and certified for life. Other ones you must renew every couple of years. The other thing is some offer high levels of certification. So let's say first you get their entry level certification then after a while, you go to the mid-level that encompasses more in it. The first certification is ISTQB, which stands for International Software Testing Qualifications Board. This is an international software testing board that certifies that people have a standard knowledge of software testing. The cost of this certification vary by country, but start at $250 here in the USA. No prerequisites are required but they suggest that you have six months of work experience. They also offer advanced and expert level certifications for each of those required prerequisites. And finally, they offer a ton of resources to prepare you for the exam. Their website will be listed right here. It will also be in the first comment pinned below. Next on our list, we have CAST, C-A-S-T, and as a certified associate in software testing. This is another certification that certifies a foundation level of understanding QA testing. The cost of this one is only $100. With this course, you get a PDF that has preparation information for your exam. However, this is why this one is a little different. This one has prerequisites. The prerequisites include either having three years in the field experience, two year degree at an accredited college and one year in the field experience, or three plus year degree at an accredited college. And the website for this one will be listed here, as well as the first comment pinned below. And now finally, CSTE. Very similar to the CAS certification, which covers the basic QA understanding. This one, however, costs between $350 and $420 for this certification. With the course, you get a PDF that's preparation information for the exam. The prerequisites for this one is even more challenging than the last one, and they include either six years of experience in the field, four years of experience plus two year degree from an accredited college, 
three years of experience in the field plus a three-year degree from an accredited college, or two years of experience plus a four-year degree from an accredited college. And the website for this one is right here and will also be listed below in the comment section. And now, let's wrap it up. As you can see, there are a lot of benefits to getting certifications. But in my honest opinion, I will wait before rushing out and applying for these four, five, and six certifications, collecting them like they're Pokemon gym badges. Because that happens a lot. That bothers me so much like in Twitter, and on Instagram, saying, oh, I have four or five different certifications, but you're still looking for a job. That means you're putting too much time on redundant certifications, because especially if you have no experience, the foundation certifications become redundant after the second and third one. Focus on getting one certification and then applying to a job and stand out like that. Just stacking them up becomes redundant and basically useless. You're just wasting your money at that point, in my opinion. So as I said, I honestly feel that first, you should just try the job market. Mass apply to hundreds of jobs in your first month or two and see the feedback. If the feedback is what you wish for, then get a certification. Maybe the extra push will help you get better feedback from employers. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please take care. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave it in the comment section below. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.